Hello, Barry. It's Heather with Community Chat, and I have a little bit different type of chat today. I am here with Alfonso, and Alfonso and I are working together with a property called, uh, or a company called JAG, which is about rent to own. So something you've probably been a little bit nervous about doing or talking about because there's all kinds of different things out there. But when you find the right fit, when you can't get that mortgage, sometimes we need to look at other options. And I feel that JAG is a really awesome company to work with. So Alfonso, uh, if you can just unmute yourself there and uh, let me know first and foremost, how are you today? Yeah, I'm doing great and uh, really excited to uh, be here joining uh, joining you today and having a nice chat. Uh, yeah, about rent to own, about the real estate business, and uh, and everything else. Thank you, uh, thank you so much for having me. Well, you know, after working with you guys on uh, a specific client, I really found that uh, you were responsive to the needs and you were able to really help them out. And what I really loved is that you use the agents that brought the clients to us in the first place. Yes, yes, absolutely. That's something uh, really unique uh, that JAG Properties that we've always, uh, since we started uh, in 2007, um, sorry, 2014, seven years of business that, uh, I was like, wait, the math isn't adding up there. Uh, yeah, so seven years of business that we've always done right from the beginning is we love working along with the realtors, with the mortgage agents, mortgage brokers in the industry um, that, you know, just can't get their clients qualified for one reason or another, their income, their down payment, their credit score. Um, you know, and just as we were talking just before we joined on the call, we know there's traditional ways of going at financing and there's A lenders and B lenders and you're going to extenuate all those options, right? But we want to be somewhere between the A and the B lender. And, and I've started to call ourselves the B lender with benefits. Um, because, uh, you know, when you're in a rent owned program, you get to, to work towards that. And there is hard work with home ownership. So we love working as, alongside uh, in, in conjunction with our realtors, our mortgage agents that have clients that just can't seem to get qualified today. And we're there to close that gap and help them get on that path. It's really important, too, because some people fall in love with a house. And it's not that they can't afford the house, but maybe they're just missing that one piece of paperwork, that NOA, their, their income because of COVID necessarily wasn't great, but we know they're going back to work and therefore they're going to be getting back to their regular income level. So they're able to, uh, you know, project it. It's a projection of them being able to meet those needs based on past, of course, but it's, it's a means to an end when you don't have all those boxes checked for the traditional mortgages. Yes, yes, absolutely. And that's the biggest thing that we find with a lot of the realtors, a lot of the mortgage uh, professionals that we work with. Um, you guys are really, really focused and busy on getting those mortgages today that can get closed and can you know qualify at, those, at the big banks or, or those major lenders. When a client, say someone like myself, walks into that office and I don't know what I'm missing and I don't know what I qualify for today, unfortunately, that's where sometimes, uh, you know, they get lost in the shuffle, let's say, because we can't close it today and we're in a limbo of, well, let's do this for six months or a year or two years and then wait and then come back and then life gets in the way and life happens and then you're on that same kind of hamster wheel going over and over again, repeating the same mistakes, unknowingly in some cases, right? So, with our rental own program, we're looking at it from, yes, a projection standpoint saying, okay, hey, did you just come out of school? Or, hey, are you now paid down debt? Do you have, uh, you know, a new job that's making more income? Uh, you're returning back to work, you know, after, after COVID and, you know, the income levels will get back up. Whether it's, you know, claiming the income properly, whether it's, you know, saving for down payment, whether it's building that better credit score and giving those tools on how to small things that you can do that improve your credit score significantly. That's what our program really encompasses. And then we do project that out over two, three or four years and say, hey, at the end of the rent to own, this is what you're going to buy uh, the home for because that's what we've targeted for. Right? That's what we set that the whole rent own program up for is a predetermined price at the end. So you check off all those boxes and then get qualified, you know, with, with Heather at the end of the rent own program so that you, you actually become the homeowner uh, at the end of the, uh, the rent own program. 
and you know, you think about it and a lot of people will say, oh, but that's so expensive. Well, owning a home is expensive. And so when you look at the big picture, and, and this is one of the things that I've discussed with, with one of our clients, and that is, do you want the home now to add all your extra beauty to it? No matter what the market is going to be projecting that home to be, you've already got a set price that you're buying it. And, but you've got your finishing touches that you did. So the home could quite possibly even be valued at even more than what you're purchasing at. Or maybe it's just more value to you because you've put your, your golden ticket on there for yourself. Yes, yes, absolutely. That, that's one of the biggest benefits of our rental home program is that immediate ownership of that, that walking in to that home, closing. It is going to be your home. So you get to decorate it, renovate it, you know, uh, landscape it, all the different things to make that house your home in there today. And, you know, I'll challenge anybody that's watching this or listening to this. Find a homeowner, you know one, you know at least one, find a homeowner and ask them if they regret buying their house and ask if they regret if they would have bought it earlier or they would have bought more. And, you know, people are saying, oh, we're going to wait and we're going to wait and we're going to wait, we're going to wait. That's fine. That's, you know, that can be your prerogative. But the longer that you wait, uh, in my opinion, the more difficult that it becomes. It's, it's easier to get started, not wait to get started, because that longer that wait period, you know, the kind of the higher or the steeper that 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 climb to home ownership gets to. And, and having someone in your corner, like like Heather, like Jag Properties, working with you on checking off those boxes, it's almost like a personal finance concierge where it's you have all those different pieces of putting the puzzle together. You don't need to be the expert. You just need to follow the plan. Ask questions along the way, understand, get a better education about it. And then you'll always have that, right? So it's not just about the home. It's about that financial background, the education that you get while you're achieving home ownership. And you can't, whether you have that home or sell it, rent it, or you know, leave it after, whatever you do, you'll always have that financial education to take forward and to carry on uh, you know, many generations after. Absolutely. And, and, you know, just knowing that you don't have to move in three years. Yes. <laughs> That's yes. a huge thing to me. Yes. Uh, we yes. moved a lot and, uh, you know, as a family. And one of the things was always my kids would be like, are we moving again? Because I don't want to unpack this. Right. So you can be sitting there spending the money on rentals and, you know, a rent to own, you are going to rent the house but you're going to also be putting the money towards the house. So the money that you would normally be spending on rent, you're now spending on uh, building your equity. So there's always something more beneficial when you're able to get into that house yeah. and put your effort and time and money into something that is yours in the end. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That, that security, that stability for yourself, for your family, that's what really that home ownership is bringing, right? And, you know, that's, yeah, it's crazy to think of. Yeah, I've moved probably four times over the last five years or so. And yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Definitely, I've purged a lot of things. I'm more sentimental about things that fit in a box versus armoires now. Um, but uh, but those, those are the things that, you know, so many clients that we see are calling us because they're saying, hey, my landlord's selling. I have to move. My I, my landlord's deciding to move back in. They're, they want to, I need to leave the house. And it's not having that security for yourself, your family, not knowing how long you want to be there. Have a plan. Okay. It's through two or three or four years. They're going to be in the rental home program. If you want to go beyond that and, you know, live there forever, or some people have plans of, Hey, maybe I'm going to renovate this place, make it a rental unit. And then I'll find my next place, right? Part of my that real estate investing, but it's all uh, individual goals that people want to get to and why you want that. But again, it comes down to the security, that stability. Everybody needs a roof over their head to call home and why not own and control that home right through that rental program to get that, uh, to make that, that goal at the end. Right. And I love the fact that, uh, not only does uh, do I get the opportunity to work with that person over the three, two or three years or whatever it is to help them get their positioning so that they can actually buy it, but also JAG has a really great um, credit building program or credit counseling, I guess it is. Yeah. Which, I mean, ultimately that's worth thousands of dollars that people are not going to recognize as being a huge value in building their ability to get the house when the time comes. 
Yeah, absolutely. And, and right from day one, when you apply, so obviously, you know, if you're working with Heather, Heather would try to, you know, fit you into, you know, the financing that she can. If it doesn't work, then we're going to look at JAG properties from a rent to own perspective. And once you have, um, once you've basically applied to our program, that's when our financial team is really putting together that home ownership roadmap. So they're, you're, they're going to meet you way before the program starts. They're going to, you're going to meet them when the program starts and be in contact with them, you know, a few times, probably three to four times a year to see where we're going, projecting where, what the finances look like. Again, getting that financial education and background, putting that in control of your own hands. And there's a story that I always tell from one of our early projects that we did uh, probably going back five, six years ago now. And, um, you know, it was before all these apps were as readily available, right? Uh, for To check your credit. Now there seems to be a new one coming out all the time uh, about checking your credit score. But we would, she would always ask us to check her credit score. She's like, I want to know where it is. We're like, you don't need to check it every week. And actually that's a detriment to you if we check it every week, right? From like a, you know, mortgage standpoint. However, we introduced her to Equifax.ca and, you know, she was almost addicted to her credit score and was just following every time. And then it came time she needed a new vehicle. So she knew exactly what her financial situation was. She knew how much she could afford each month to, you know, finance the vehicle. And that it was so empowering for her to say, I went into the dealership. I knew exactly what I could afford. I knew exactly what I wanted. The only hard part was picking the color, right? And then at that point there, you know, she she had that, she knew that she could afford the car, what she could do. And now, you know, beyond that, now she's saving up for vacations and other stuff. And now she is a proud homeowner as well. But putting that financial education and guidance, putting that in the hands of our clients and tenant buyers and letting them have that and run with it. That's the part that I, I enjoy the most. And we love, love doing is, is creating homeowners and through financial education at JAG Properties. That's awesome. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll just ask anyone that's interested in learning a little bit about JAG Properties to uh, just reach out to me and uh, get the information that they need. And then if, uh, you know, if there's more questions, we can definitely get them to the inquiries with you yourself or one of the other people that uh, look after that type of an inquiry. But uh, just, is there anything, I mean, obviously we know that you guys are really special because your system works and I haven't seen a lot of that out there. Um, but is there anything specific that you want to make sure that we cover so that we know that everybody, um, you know, one of the main questions, maybe something that, that you get asked a lot, do you have a really great uh, little rebuttal there? Yeah, for sure. I guess the, the one question, you know, that we, we kind of covered it a little bit, but really just to kind of summarize it, how it all works, right? So how, how does this rent to own program works? And if I can summarize it really quickly, we look at it the same way that Heather would to qualify you for a mortgage. We're looking to qualify you for rent to own. You get to pick your own home. You actually, once you're qualified and get that budget, you actually get to determine the house that you want to live in, the street, the area, what you want to be close by, what you want to be far away from, all that stuff. You get to actually choose the home. We buy it. You're in that home for two, three, or four years. Typically, three years is a good rent to own program. And then at the end of the term, you're buying the home at a predetermined price. That is set up at the beginning of the rent to own program. You'll know exactly what you're buying it for at the end of the rent to own term. And throughout that period, like Heather mentioned, we have a finance team that's going to be helping you, supporting you along the way to get towards that goal. And then ultimately, Heather is going to be the one that gets you qualified for that mortgage at the end of the term. Um, and get you qualified. So yeah, there's there's lots to unpack. There's lots of information uh, about the rent to own program. So get in touch with Heather, and uh, we love working with Heather. We're we're at the point now where we're about to uh, to close on a property soon. Uh, that uh, client that she has referred that she's worked with, and we're looking forward to doing many more. That is our goal. We want to help people achieve home ownership. And if the home ownership is a goal of yours, then it's a goal of ours. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. And thank you so much for for having me on today, Heather, and uh, look forward to seeing you a lot more as well. Well, that's great. So uh, just thank you so much, Alfonso, for giving us the time and the information. I'm hoping that this will make people feel a little bit more confident that rent to own is not a scary thing. Uh, it can be if you're not with the right people and the right company and the right uh, projection. But after seven years of doing this, uh, you guys have really got it down pat. You've got people in all the different areas so that each step goes smoothly. Uh, all your contracts, I can vouch for this, that they are simple. 
They are just outright simple. It's not all the fine print where you don't understand what's going on. And we really thank you for that because we really have enough of that in our world right now. That's for sure. So, but thank you so much for spending time today. I very much appreciate you. And I so look forward to spending a lot more time working with JAG. So Barry and community chat, we're going to sign off. It's Heather with ratedeal.ca and the Mortgage Center. Very much looking forward to having you reach out and we can talk more about JAG.